you like chicken breast. We got the three maple syrup helpers here. <laughs> Hopefully things start running this week. Jackson, Jordan, and Jacob. Jeez, Jack. Uh, Joe and I have our grandchildren up and our oldest daughter and sugar season has just started. Everything's dripping pretty good here today. It's about plus four, plus five and we still have a uh, foot and a half or so of snow and it'll go pretty quickly this week. We have uh, above temperatures during the day and below freezing temperatures at night so ideal weather for the sap to run. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, March 18th. And just collected this one. Pail was just about full. And it's dripping pretty good. So I have this one little light I got off Amazon a year ago. I guess it's a two footer and uh, it doesn't take too much power, but we only use it when we have surplus power since we are on solar. There's the back of our panels right there. And it just kind of gives a little bit extra light and heat to Are you singing? All right. Birch is running. And even though it got cold overnight, it's still dripping. Now this is my freshly planted cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. Hey, get out of there. Get out, you just get out of my... I'm gonna have a problem if you eat my vegetables. Come on. Okay, I've popped a couple out and they turned out pretty good. Jack, what are you doing? Your mom just put you in that nice, cute outfit.
ended up with five of the 500 milliliter and one of the 250 milliliter. Okay, so we got our three ducks. Okay, we're up to about 150 Fahrenheit now, so I'm going to scald the chicken. Make sure we get all of it in the water. So wet out here. You guys got a little pool. I have light. And we have plugs for the freezers. The neighbors gave us this one for free. More some chicken feet. Okay, so you can see it just has a curve on the one side. And that's the sidewalk finish. That's what you normally see on sidewalks. And you just kind of get it in there. Still kind of wet, so I'm gonna let it set a little longer, I think. Chicken's first snow. Now this was a spot where a tree branch fell off as well, or something hit the tree, caused some damage to it, and then it allowed the chaga to uh, enter there and start growing. where the bridge used to be. <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> She's gonna get wet, we know that. We got the camera going. Now what? Now what though? What's up girls? Hi, Henrietta. Okay, so I'm sitting in my deer stand. Been sitting here since about half hour before sunrise. And it's pretty windy today. So I don't think we'll see anything. Joe's sitting on ridge in the middle of our property and I'm on the ridge on the north end and I'm overlooking crown land so could be some other hunters out there on the crown land and they could stir up some deer and push them my way So the panels are finally cleared off. The ones in the front of the building in full sun as well. But most of the snow cleared here. Joe's out doing the road right now. Um, from the plow turnaround to here on our private road, it is two and a half kilometers. Chickens and the ducks aren't too uh, happy with the weather today.
but it sure is pretty out. I made two nesting boxes. They don't use this one. All of them have to go in this one. And apparently at the same time.